for the values of the parameter mu within 0 and 2, f mu maps the unit interval 0, 1 into itself, thus defining a discrete time dynamical system on it. In particular, iterating a point x 0 in 0, 1 gives rise to a sequence where mu is a positive real constant. Choosing for instance the parameter mu equals 2, the effect of the function f mu may be viewed as the result of the operation of folding the unit interval in 2, then stretching the resulting interval 0, 1 half, to get again the interval 0, 1. Iterating the procedure, any point x 0 of the interval assumes new subsequent positions as described above, generating a sequence xn in 0, 1. The case of the tent map is a non-linear transformation of both the bit shift map and the R equals 4 case of the logistic map. Behavior The tent map and the logistic map are topologically conjugate, and thus the behaviors of the two maps are in this sense identical under iteration. Depending on the value of mu, the tent map demonstrates a range of dynamical behavior ranging from predictable to chaotic. If mu is less than 1 the point x equals 0 is an attractive fixed point of the system for all initial values of x i.e. the system will converge towards x equals 0 from any initial value of x. If mu is 1 all values of x less than or equal to 1 half are fixed points of the system. If mu is greater than 1 the system has two fixed points, one at 0 and the other at mu. Both fixed points are unstable i.e., a value of x close to either fixed point will move away from it, rather than towards it. For example, when mu is 1.5 there is a fixed point at x equals 0.6 equals 0.6 but starting at x equals 0.61 we get. If mu is between 1 and the square root of 2 the system maps a set of intervals between mu minus mu 2 halves and the mu 2 to themselves. This set of intervals is the Julia set of the map i.e. it is the smallest invariant subset of the real line under this map. If mu is greater than the square root of 2, these intervals merge, and the Julia set is the whole interval from mu minus mu 2 halves to mu 2. If mu is between 1 and 2 the interval mu minus mu 2 halves mu 2 contains both periodic and non-periodic points, although all of the orbits are unstable. Orbits with longer lengths appear as mu increases. For example, if mu equals 2 the system maps the interval 0, 1 onto itself. There are now periodic points with every orbit length within this interval, as well as non-periodic points. The periodic points are dense in 0, 1, so the map has become chaotic. In fact, the dynamics will be non-periodic if and only if is irrational. This can be seen by noting what the map does when is expressed in binary notation. It shifts the binary point one place to the right, then, if what appears to the left of the binary point is of 1, it changes all 1s to zeros and vice versa, starting from an irrational number. This process goes on forever without repeating itself. The invariant measure for x is the uniform density over the unit interval. The autocorrelation function for a sufficiently long sequence will show zero autocorrelation at all non-zero lags, thus cannot be distinguished from white noise using the autocorrelation function. Note that the R equals 4 case of the logistic map and the case of the tent map are transformations of each other denoting the logistically evolving variable as we have. If mu is greater than 2 the map's Julia set becomes disconnected and breaks up into a Cantor set within the interval 0, 1. The Julia set still contains an infinite number of both non-periodic and periodic points but almost every point within 0, 1 will now eventually diverge towards infinity. The canonical Cantor set is the Julia set of the tent map for mu equals 3, magnifying the orbit diagram. A closer look at the orbit diagram shows that there are four separated regions at mu 1. 
For further magnification, two reference lines are drawn from the tip to suitable X as certain mu are shown, with distance measured from the corresponding reference lines. Further detail appears in the upper and lower part of the map. Asymmetric tent map the asymmetric tent map is essentially a distorted, but still piecewise linear, version of the case of the tent map. It is defined by for parameter. The case of the tent map is the present case if a sequence will have the same autocorrelation function as will data from the first order autoregressive process with independently and identically distributed. Thus data from an asymmetric tent map cannot be distinguished using the autocorrelation function from data generated by a first-order autoregressive process.